And welcome back guys to the next episode of my football manager uh, career mode here. Uh, we are still at Port Vale, which uh, could we <laughs> going off past teams. We could have been sacked by now, but we're still here. So last episode we played Crawley Town in Bradford City. And since then we played Northampton to a nil-nil draw at the PTS Academy Stadium. Uh, and then we go to the Job Serve Community Stadium and take on Colchester. And we won 3 to 1 on that one. And here's the highlight from that one Burgess to Smith, who gets the goal. And then the header comes in from Agho to make it 2 0. And then Lewis to Hurst to Agho to Hilton, make it 3 0. And then Sims, 83 minutes in takes it to the house and gets the 3-1. Uh, so good game for us there. And then January 1st hits and we play Plymouth at home in Vail Park. So early on, Plymouth are on the attack. Moore knocks it into Thomas, who beats Madison to make it 1-0. And then Akko on the run, nice pass to Chimenez. And that makes it 1-1, then Lewis into Smith for his for a hit second goal in two games and then Warall makes an absolute disastrous pass and Lolos ties it up 2-2 there so we only grab one point against Plymouth and then we go to Blundell Park and take on Grimsby Town to a nil-nil draw and then South End at home we play them to a 2-2 draw early on Lewis to Akko and goal and then Cooper to Jones off of one of his players and then Agho on the break gets the pass in to Chambers who knocks it in his first that was his first match he played for us uh, first time he comes in and he scores so that's the 2-2 draw there and then we're, we stay at home against Mokam, uh, uh, Morkambi to a 2-2 draw there and then Conlon to Ford. Ford gets the cross in to Hurst, who scores to make it 1 0. And then they go on the attack here. Conlon scores to make it 1 1. And then Conlon with another nice pass to Gomez makes it 2 1. And then 87 minutes in. Lewis off the missed free kick. Conlon gets the rebound and ties it up. Then we take on Shetlaham away and we lose that one 3-1 so early on Agho to Hilton back to Agho gets the goal he's on a tear for us there and then it was all Chetlandham after that Folivi beats Madison then Broom with the, the, the pass comes in to Thomas and then Anderson out wide sends it in Thomas scores his second goal in stoppage time to make it 3-1. Then we go back home to Vail Park to take on Stevenage. Early on, Stevenage, Stevenage on the attack. Wakefield, the rebound goes to Miller, who scores, makes it 1-0. And then Hurst sends it in to Agho. Calican gets the rebound, knocks it in, makes it 1-1. And then 51 minutes a row to Lewis, goes top corner, and makes it 2-1. So we grab the three points there. Then we stay at home against Solihull Moors. Early on, four minutes in, Moors on the attack. Uh, Kilkenny with the nice shot. And then Port Vale later on, Agho gets the run, drops it into the top right corner to equalize, and that one stays 1 1. Then we travel to Rodney Parade to take on Newport County. This one goes back and forth the entire day until the 87, 82nd minute. Rowe gets it to Hilton for the lone goal, and we take the three points and get the clean sheet there. Then we travel to Wham Stadium to take on Accring, Accrington Stanley away. Aaron Lewis was the star today. Uh, he drives the ball into the box, shoots, scores, makes it 1-0. And then later on, he gets the penalty to make it 2-0, and that's how it stays until the final whistle. Then we go back to Vail uh, Park to take on Leighton Orient. 
So seven minutes in, Agho takes it into the box, passes to Hilton, who knocks it in with the header. And then Leighton Orient answers 36 minutes in, Becca Taylor to Drew. They equalize, and that one stays 1-1. Then we uh, head to Hayes Lane to take on Bromley. Early on, 28 minutes in, Rowe passes to Hilton, who heads that one in, makes it 1-0. And then 64 minutes in, the corner comes in, and Garcia knocks it in. Well, George Ray knocks that one in to only uh, grab a point in that one. And then the last match played off camera, we're at home uh, at Vail Park against Crew. And early in, three minutes in, Johnson Griffiths shoots, makes it 1-0 early on. Griffiths with his second goal to make it 2-0. And then Finney with the free kick makes it 3-0. And that's, when, that's how that one stays until the final whistle as we go down there. So today we're going to take on Oldham or Oldham uh, at home in League 2. And let's have a look at our players right now real quick. So right now, Agho, 33 appearances, 14 goals, 5 assists. Uh, and then we have Hilton, 9 goals, 6 assists. Aaron Lewis, 8 and 7. Callaghan, 5 and 3. Nathan Smith, 4-1. Conlon 2-2, two, two, Worrell 2-2, two, two, and then a few guys uh, deals here and there. So as of right now, Agho is our, uh, in all competitions, 21 goals, 5 assists. He's just been on fire, and he's only 19 years old. Uh, nice dribbling and finishing uh, decisions, determination. We're trying to bump up his uh, finishing, uh, I'm sorry, his... Uh, Composure, concentration, that kind of thing, shooting uh, to really make him deadly in the uh, finishing area. Our tactics, we're still going with the 4-4-2. And there's a lot of transfer information. Uh, let's see, transfer history. So come uh, January of this year, we took in Ricky Boyle on a free trade. Yao Virginia from Everton on loan, a goalkeeper uh, who has some really nice 16 eccentric eccentricity <laughs> and then 15 reflexes. Nice goalkeeper uh, stats. Maybe we can keep him full time here. Greg Taylor, defender from Cam Cambridge United, 32 years old. Um, just kind of a depth guy. Jack Wadham from Leicester City on loan, 19 determination, 14 work rate. 17 stamina and only 19 years old uh, we brought in alex woodyard marking 14 15 work rate 16 natural fitness um, but 29 years old and then from afc wimbledon adam rossgrove uh, not the greatest of stats but he's uh, an upgrade over what we have on the bench and then uh, boyd Munts from birmingham just a depth guy and then Aaron Rowe, who has played well for us so far. 16 determination, 14, 15, 15 acceleration. Uh, some good stats that matter. Uh, Maxwell left to Hull City for $11,000. And then Tyler Bradbury left to uh, Gloucester City. I would have liked to keep him 16 determination. His technicals are good and good physicals. Uh, he just wanted to get out of here and basically there's not much you can do once a player wants to get out you basically got to let him go so let's jump on in and get this game underway and here we are the match preview screen as you can see we are in fifth place with 62 points we're seven points out of the automatic promotion zone which is where I would like to be I would not like to have to play some playoff and leave it up to chance so Every match is a major important match going in uh, to this season, uh, going into the end of this season here. Uh, so we're going with Hilton, Ako up top, Hurst, Conlon, Calican, Rowe, Gibbons, Morrison, Smith, Lewis, and Virginia in goal. And we'll submit the team and get it underway. Let's see, okay. Expect to see a much better performance today than that 3-0 loss we took to Crew. 
which was a huge game for us. We should have won that one. Well, we needed to win that one. Put it that way. Lewis the Hilton shoots and he's just a little bit off, off target there. And again, Lewis to Hurst with the throw in. Lewis just running free, shoots just off target. So a couple of nice chances early, just couldn't capitalize yet. Uh, the Oldham squad is inspired by their manager's feedback. Morrison sends it out, they grab possession. Christy Davies goes to Mills. Back to Davies to Clayton. Can we still oh, horrible, horrible thank thank you for being off target because that was a great chance for them. Corner comes in and it goes in. Uh, 25 minutes in, we go down one mil. Corner comes in, headed to Lees, and Lees knocks it in. Terrible, terrible, terrible start. Before halftime, we need to equalize this one, so I feel better going into the second half. Another yellow card there. We are constantly getting a ton of yellow cards. So it's halftime and it's 1 0. Come on, boys. Uh, let's see. Show me something else in the second half. Let's see. Our team instructions. Usually we work it into the box. We'll go back to that. Uh, high tempo. Slightly more direct passing. And we'll go with that. 50 minutes in, and here's another chance for them. Can Leo, and that, don't tell me that's a penalty. What in, <laughs> how was that a penalty outside the box? So Bellato knocks it in, makes it two nil. We are playing, and then another attempt. Comes in just over the goal. We luck out on that one. So we have 11 shots. And not a one goes in yet. And then finally, Calican just basically walks. Walks into the box and scores for us there. There's no one bothers. And he blasted it. Alright guys, come on. 25 minutes to go. Let's equalize this one. Quickly and then take the lead. I'm scared to shout at them because they're all going to be frustrated or uninspired or something. So here they are on the attack again. Please let us grab possession here. And Akko does it for us. Gets in the box. And he finishes. The man. The myth. The legend. 22nd goal of the season. 80 minutes in. Now we have about 10 minutes to win this one. That was a great play. Big, big time play by Akko. Let's praise the guys and that'll get them all happy. Come on, let's pull this one out. I need these three points. And we don't get them. So we equalize and we grab one point. Tell the boys they were unlucky even though they weren't. They should have won that one easily. And let's check these standings now. So we're currently fifth. Man, we are nine points. So seven points behind Crew and nine points behind Tanmir. So thanks for watching, guys. Click that subscribe button, and I'll see you for the next episode real soon.